It's today of all days. Terra making me do this bomb. We do a take two. take two. Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. It's, uh, well, it's, it's Saturday. Saturday, August 3rd, 2024. Day 216. Suddenly, pineapples. You get me today. Tara didn't, Tara's taking today off. And, um, I, I guess kind of good reasons. He definitely doesn't want to be doing anything today. Today of all days is a day he hates the most out of any day of the year. It is today. And it, has, and it doesn't have anything to do with time as much as it is the day itself. Um, well, I'll go ahead and say it because I don't, I don't mind as much as he does. It's our birthday today. We, and I'm okay with it. I'm, we're 36 today. I know we're not getting any younger, but I'm okay with getting older. He's okay with getting older. He's, he's kind of proud of his gray hair. He's getting gray hairs at the top of his head right now, which is pretty cool. And he hasn't started balding, so that's a good thing. But no, she doesn't like his birthday. Tara absolutely hates his birthday. And the reason is, his entire life, he has not had a, like, a good, fun, exciting, happy birthday, I guess, kind of thing. It's always been extremely stressful, like the most stressful things for him usually happen on his birthday. Like last year, last year, um, Buttercup and Lilia went with Tara's brother-in-law, or, you know, um, Lily's brother, they, they went out to the main city to go to a science museum, which Tara would have loved to have gone to the science museum, but he stayed home with Sweet Pea, who that day ran out of diapers, and it was too hot to go to the store, and there was no one who could take him to the store to get new diapers for Sweet Pea, so it was Sweet Pea with a rash behind and screaming all day. And they were gone from, like, 10 o'clock in the morning until about 10 o'clock at night. They were gone They were gone the entire day, and it was nothing but a whole heap of stress that entire day. And there was nothing else he could really do other than do everything he could to stop Sweet Pea from crying, because Sweet Pea's a very active child. And had a very rasty behind, because we ran out of- we just happened to run out of diapers at that time, too. He had to, he had to use towels for, for, for Sweepy. So, but luckily we don't have that problem this year. This year is just a very blah day, Lily. is not feeling well, Buttercup got home from her grandparents a little bit ago. But unfortunately, Sweepy has learned how to get into the bathroom with the door closed. He's learning how to open doors. And the bedroom door we just got fixed is, uh, well, broken again. Because the, uh, the bore holes or the screw holes in the door frame them itself are all stripped out. So they have to come out and probably use something like, uh, what, what do they say? I don't remember what they called it, like wood cement or something like that. Something to seal up the holes and redo all of it. So Terror just wants to go out and get it done himself. So, you know, he doesn't get in trouble with property management. Well, the person who, the person who did it said it was probably bound to happen again. We just didn't want it to happen so soon, and uh, that door's really coming off right now. But, like I said, it's always one thing after another. He doesn't enjoy his birthday at all. And, no, uh, I can't blame him. But, it's just, it's just me today, so you get me. But, like I said, I don't mind being 36 years old. I really don't mind. I like getting older. We hate, we, we've already been over it. We hated our childhood. Our childhood sucked, and I never... I'm not the kind of person like, oh, you want to go back and experience everything again? No. No, I do not want to experience my childhood again. It was terrible. The only good thing, the only good things that I got out of it were the, were the, was the physical pain that we had with Tara's brother. But that's because pain, the pain was fun. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but you know how boys are. Tara, Tara and his brother Rift were, um, they were pretty rough to each other. But, you know, not really a bad thing per se, but they still have fun. They still definitely have fun with that, but it is not worth going back in time and re-experiencing childhood. Besides, if we went back in time to experience 
what people call the easiness of childhood, we wouldn't have Buttercup and Sweet Pea. And to us, that's definitely not worth it. Going back would mean losing our kids. And, and, and think about it, if, if you were sent back in time to re-experience your childhood, how much work would you have to do to make sure you repeat every the exact same things you did in your childhood to ensure you get to the point you are now? Because where I am now, or where we are now, is where we want to be. And it would be, it, it, going back knowing everything that I know now, would be extremely difficult. Nay, improbable. To get to where we are now. To, like, make sure we relive every series of those events again. I keep looking over there and pointing out. Can I turn that off? Is there a way to turn I, I can't turn the TV off. And it keeps blanking on me. I don't like it. But... Tara and I are just going to relax. We're going to make some finished tacos in a little bit for dinner. I know Lily doesn't really want to do much right now. I can't blame her. But uh, we're probably just going to do some simple fish tacos. Not a whole lot else is... Well... I don't really like doing a whole lot more. Excuse me. Why do my throat? Oh, but you still need to make some work to be. I'm a little annoyed when it comes to the, the tea packets. Because I tried to get the the other day when I when we got to finally do our grocery shopping. Yeah, they're completely out of iced tea packs. Or you know, just regular tea where you can do sun tea. All gone. Everyone bought it all up and I did not buy pre-made tea. We don't do that because it's not allowed in this house. Because it just tastes better to make it yourself anyway. Not to mention, all the stores around us that even sell gallon tea, it's all sweet tea. Because everyone out here likes their sweet tea, and they look at us like we're crazy for asking for unsweetened tea. Clearly, they never had carbonated tea. It's so much better. Alas, I'm not going to keep this one too long because, um, I need to determine whether or not I'm going to be making a fake repair. Probably not. Maybe a pie would be better. Oh, if I could get a hold of it. Oh, a tea lime pie would be perfect tonight. Maybe if we get over the store, what a oh, well, no, I need to be cool enough to bring it to you by applying a key lime pie. A key lime pie would be perfect right now. This is very hot. Yes, it is still very hot outside right now. But yes, a key lime pie would be perfect. And if you've never had a key lime pie, what is wrong with you? Key lime pies are amazing. Those are like the best pie you can have, especially in the summertime. Oh, oh, that's so, so good. So if you want to have something delicious, key lime pie. And I apologize if you have diabetes, I, I think they have some uh, diabetic friendly key lime pie. It's just really hard to find markets, you know. But it's, uh, you can also, you can also, uh, well, you, you can make key lime pie yourself. It's still gonna be too hard. There are plenty of recipes out there. In fact, that's definitely one of the things I want to try to learn how to make this key lime pie. I already learned, I already self-taught myself how to make pie crust from scratch. It's like super, super easy. But I did, I, I did like bitter pie crust with, you know, the no sugar stuff because we made, uh, we made, um, mince pie and bean mash off of about a month ago. It was really good. And uh, surprisingly, pie crust was really easy to make. So making dessert pie crust should also be quite easy. I don't know why I'm using this world asset right now, because it doesn't actually work, and it's not part of the avatar, it was just in this world we went to. Oh, and this world is... I'm not even gonna pull it up right now. It's just called Sleepy Tea. I... Should I turn this camera off? You know, everyone? You know what? It's fair. It's fair. Bear with me for a moment. It's just a world asset here. And the world we went to is literally called Sleepy Tea by T. Lofi. Description, a place for sleep with tea. Under construction forever. And yes, there's, there's a... If I can... That, there we go. Wow, okay, so... You... Teacup asset, no, um, no! Yeah, apparently this collision physics, you can't grab the... Okay, so you can grab the tea... Pouch and saucer. But... You cannot grab the teapot. Why? I don't know. 
to say it's just how they decided this world needed to be. But I know. I had indulged every once time enough. Do what you want with, with what today is. But Tara doesn't really care who says anything. At, if at all, he doesn't really care. I mean, heck, his dad hasn't even... His dad hasn't even messaged him. But part of that is his family knows how much he hates today. That could be part of it. But... We'll just get through today. And we look forward to just having tomorrow. Still gonna be me tomorrow because we have to get back to our regular schedule. I'm just fear covering for Tara today because of how much he hates today. But this is Tessa Spade on your day 215, August 3rd, 2024. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. See you around. Ugh, why does everything have collision?